السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The Prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam has said, Indeed, he who recites Salat Durood upon me the most will be the closest to me on the Day of Judgment. Please recite after me. As salatu was salam alayka ya Rasulallah. As salatu was salam alayka ya Rasulallah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habiballah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habiballah. As salatu was salam alayka ya Nabiyallah. As salatu was salam alayka ya Nabiyallah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurallah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurallah. Please recite the following dua after me. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal. Open the doors of knowledge. <coughs> and wisdom for us. And have mercy on us. O oh, the one who is the most honorable. And glorious. In our last clip about the blessed month of Ramadan, we learned about Irtikaf. Today, we will be learning about the blessings of Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr is an extremely blessed and sacred night. This night is called Laylatul Qadr for several reasons. Number one, in this night, the task of the following years are set and assigned to the angels. Qadr refers to either destiny or dignity. The whole, number two, the Holy Quran was revealed at this night. Number three, the worship performed in this, in this night has great Qadr excellence. And number four, Qadr also means nar narrowness. Angels descend at this night in such a great number that the earth is crowded with them. For these reasons, this is called Laylatul Qadr. There is a hadith in Bukhari Sharif that says, Whoever offers salah with faith and sincerity at this night shall be forgiven for all of his previous sins. Wow. It is stated in Tafsir Azizi that when the beloved and blessed Prophet وسلم, considered the fact that the previous ummahs were given long life, whereas his ummah was given short life as compared to them, he وسلم, got dejected and concerned that his ummah would not be able to surpass previous ummahs even if it worshipped abundantly. The mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal in testified and he Allah and he Azza wa Jal granted his beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam Laylatul Qadr. We must not spend this sacred night in heedlessness. Whoever worships in this night is rewarded more than the worship of a thousand months, which implies more than 83 years and four months. Subhanallah. Only Allah Azza wa Jal and His beloved and blessed Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who was informed by Allah Azza wa Jal, know how much more. Sayyidina Jibreel Alayhi Wasallam and other angels descend at this night and shake hands with the worshippers. Each and every moment of this blessed night is full of peace that remains till dawn. It is a huge grace of Allah Azza wa Jal that He Azza wa Jal has granted this glorious night only to His beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and His Ummah for His sake. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Holy Quran in Surah Qadr translating from Kanzul Iman Undoubtedly, we sent it down in the blessed night. And do you know what the blessed night is? The blessed night is better than a thousand months. Therein descend angels and Jibreel by the commandment of their Rabb for every affair. This is all the peace till the rising of the dawn. Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu has stated that once the month of Ramadan arrived, so the Prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a month has come to you in which there is one such night that is better than a thousand months. Whoever is deprived in that night is deprived of all the goodness and only the one who is completely deprived is deprived of its goodness. Everyone is forgiven at this night, but the outcomes those who disobey their parents, their parents, their relatives, and have malice and grudge against fellow Muslim brothers without a valid reason of Sharia are not forgiven. 
Sayyidina Ubada bin Samit radiallahu ta'ala anhu asked the noble Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about Laylatul Qadr. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, Laylatul Qadr is in the odd nights of the last 10 days of Ramadan, 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th, 29th, or the last night of Ramadan. Subhanallah. Whoever worships in this night with faith in order to earn a reward will be forgiven for all his previous sins. Some of its signs are as follows. The night will be open, bright and extremely clear. It is neither too hot nor too cold. The weather is quite normal and the night and the moon is clearly visible. The devils are not struck with stars the whole night. Subhanallah. Mother of the believers, Sayyidatuna Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha narrated that she asked the Prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what should I recite if I find Laylatul Qadr? The beloved and blessed Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, make this dua, Allahumma innaka afuwa qazimun tuhibbul تُحِبُّ الْأَفْوَى فَعْفُ عَنِّي Ya Allah Azza wa Jal You are indeed the forgiver and the benevolent You also like forgiving so forgive me Subhanallah The night of Laylatul Qadr should be spent in worship and making du'as for our parents, family, relatives and Muslim Ummah Subhanallah As a wajal, accept our efforts and give us the ability to respect this blessed month of Ramadan and the blessed night of Laylatul Qadr. Amin. Please remember us in your du'as on the night of Laylatul Qadr. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.